SQL injections were first described 27 years ago. So why is it that it, they're still in the top three vulnerabilities that web applications face today in 2025? Well, let's have a look. So first I'm gonna deploy my vulnerable web application. Then I'll log in and go to my profile. Now, as an attacker, what I want to do is not only set my bio, but I wanna set everybody's bio text. So I can do that with this statement here, update my bio to be injected. And the key part is where one equals one for everyone on the website. So as soon as I click add bio, everybody's text on the website will be set to the word injected. Now, let's see how we can avoid this. Next, I'll deploy the Dynatrace 1 agent so it is protecting my web application. If I try the same trick again to inject the word injected, this time I get an error and the 1 agent has seen that injection attempt and blocked me. Now, if I go into Dynatrace, I can see 1 of 1 attacks blocked and zero of one attacks exploited. So that says to me, yes, someone tried to attack you, but they weren't successful. You can even drill in to see the ID for the attack, the entry point, which is the bio page, the SQL statement, so the actual statement that the attacker ran, and the vulnerable line of code and function, and then you can pass that back to your developers. If you'd like to recreate this, run the sample demo app, links are in the description below.